Spelljammer is out, and if a Hadozi grapples you, you die. This combo requires two people because it requires two concentration spells, but needing help from a druid is a small price to pay for dealing literally infinite damage on your turn, if you ask me. The rules that are relevant to this combo are the glide trait from the Hadozi race, two spells, and the fact that you can drag people. So, Glide says, if you are not incapacitated or wearing heavy armor, you can move up to five feet horizontally for every one foot you descend in the air, at no movement cost to you. Normally, that obviously means that you can only move uh, five times as far as you fall, but if we happen to have some way to fall an unlimited distance, that translates to moving five unlimited distances in the course of spending literally zero movement. The way is called reverse gravity. Reverse gravity is the way you fall in unlimited. So while your buddy is concentrating on this 7th level spell, there's a column of space where everything that would go down goes up instead. Technically, that means you can't glide, because that specifies that you have to descend rather than fall. But when you hit the top of reverse gravity, you oscillate slightly. Which means you should be able to shimmy off of the column and leave the spell to fall downward again. Then just before you reach the ground, you glide back into reverse gravity. Cool, that's great, but how on earth am I dealing damage this way? Simple. In the rules for grappling, two important points are laid out. Number one, a grappled creature can use its action to escape, which means they can only escape on their turn, not yours. Two, when you move, you can carry a creature you're grappling. Your speed is halved, but your speed isn't relevant when you're falling in a circle because you're not spending any movement to do that. The other spell you need now is Spike Growth, which you'll cast at the bottom edge of the gravity tube. Spike Growth deals 2d4 damage to any creature that moves through 5 feet of its area of effect, even if they didn't choose to move there. So if you grapple a creature in such a way as to hold them below you while you glide, you can deal 2d4 damage per foot tall the creature is, before taking it back into the reverse gravity zone to fall back up then fall down and do the same thing again, which means they take as many d4 damage as you darn well please, thank you very much. Hope they aren't immune to pierce. So basically, don't let a Hadozi grapple you.